Can you cross this field? So you're close, close enough to the farmhouse that they would have heard you if you talked too loudly, so he said be quiet. That gives us a pretty good fix that we were close there to There were some trees around. I said, let's go over to that field over there so we can get a good view, a 360 degree view, you know, horizon yeah. to horizon. That's why we went on over there. Yeah. And we could see the objects out to the south out there, or east, I guess it is, that, that way. So having walked through, probably walked through that little drainage ditch and got a bit wet and kind of stumbled up onto the, 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 onto the next field, and there's a gradual incline that goes up. Where about, whereabouts, at the point where you could see the lighthouse. I think we could, I, I vaguely remember seeing the lighthouse from yeah, there. I'm not I, I think you would have done. I think you would, certainly what I'm once thinking. Once we went up a little higher, we could see the white beam of patiently rotating. Yeah. And if I recall correctly, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think in your description there, there was a very bright light at your feet. Yeah, it was about that big. As wide as that. I wasn't real familiar with lasers then, but then, you know, I would equate so, it down to a laser. Sounds like it. A focus beam. Yeah. Collimated. It didn't radiate. Collimated, you know, it didn't yeah. It radiates. Yeah. It did not radiate. It was focused. Yeah, it was collimated like a laser beam. Yeah. That's pretty unusual. Did it, did it just, and, he said, and it just kind of clicked on and clicked off? Clicked on and clicked off. It was only there for less than a minute. And like you said, was it, was it, uh, was it a warning? Was it communication? Or was it was it telling you that you need to go metal detecting there? There could be a, a treasure <laughs> chest down there or something. Who knows? Um, well, I was in near panic then. No, I'm not surprised. I thought, where is this going? You know, I thought this is not the end of it. Something else is going to happen. Yeah. And then when the light went off and we could still see the objects back out there, watch your comes out. Here comes the vehicle. So, so if I carry on, if, if, if I come back later today, if I carry on in this direction, do, do you remember roughly what, we've got the road behind us, we're standing with the road and the farmhouse behind us, roughly what angle do you reckon you took? I know it's hard to remember exactly. Approximately that way. So, so either straight or perhaps slightly to the right, to the sort of 12, well, slightly to the right, 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock. As I remember, we were near, the, not far from the edge of the field. I don't know how big the field is over there now. That's good to know. It's pretty big. Yeah, it was a huge field. I mean, yeah. huge. By the edge, I mean the right-hand side. We so too so over to over to that side of it, there the right-hand we side of it. Far as I so yes, so it does sound the like you went kind of one o'clock. The field may not be the same today. I don't know. The boundaries might have changed. I can check we, that on Saturday. We basically went across there and straight out into the field. Yeah. And and I'm very interested in the point in trying to locate the point where that you saw this beam. Was, was that before you got to the top or? We didn't get to the top. We didn't go clear to the top. So it was sort of some way, on, some way some up way on the incline. Some way up the, the grade when we stopped and the object came overhead. And after that, we turned around and went back. Yeah. Because and then it was getting three or four o'clock in the yeah, morning or whatever. Like, and, and actually, I mean, I've, I've done that walk several times and your legs are aching. Yeah. Even on a good day, your legs are aching yeah. after that kind of walk. And I do lots of walking, and that, that's still a, a and We were miserable, walk. and everybody was there, okay, you know. Yeah. We've had enough excitement for the night, believe me. Yeah. So, so if I had to try to pinpoint the spot where the beam shone down, it would be, I'd have to head probably about one o'clock, get into the next field, go over on the other side of the trees. Other side of the trees. I'll start up a slight grade. Up a slight grade. And go about 100, 150 yards. About 150 yards. And but we didn't go to the top of the hit. There was you know, the slight gotcha. grade. We didn't go to the top. And so if, if I did that, I went 150 yards in, roughly how far away from the edge, from the right, the edge on the right, the boundary on the right? We weren't, I don't know, maybe 100 feet or maybe a little more. I don't remember exactly. Pretty close. Pretty close. But now, like I say, the field may be different. They may have plowed further. They yeah. may, you know, I don't know. That, that gives me everything I could the possibly The closest I can point you to is the ghost. Go right over there. See that dead tree? Yes, I do. I and see it exactly, there, yeah. And up in the field there somewhere. 